वेलकम टू का ब्लॉग इंडिया वी मीट अगेन फॉर दिस वीक्स ऑटो न्यूज अपडेट स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द डिलीवरी फॉर हीरो एक्सपल्स टू हंड्रेड टू हंड्रेड टी एंड एक्सट्रीम टू हंड्रेड एस आर शेड्यूल्ड टू बिगिन बाय मिड ऑफ जून द डिस्प्ले यूनिट एंड द टेस्ट राइड यूनिट आर गोइंग टू रीच द डीलरशिप बाय द फर्स्ट वीक ऑफ जून वेल द डीलरशिप से दैट द रिस्पॉन्स फॉर बोथ द बाइक्स इज एक्चुअली क्वाइट गुड The updated TVS Apache RR310 has now been launched in India, priced at rupees 2.27 lakhs ex showroom. It gets a new race-tuned slipper clutch from the RTR200 4V and a new gloss phantom black color option. The new clutch is lighter and the downshifts are more easier on this updated bike. So Tata is going to discontinue some of the variants of Safari, Zest and Bolt. Well, do not be sad because only some of the variants are going, which do not comply with the safety norms of dual airbags and ABS. The variants which are equipped with airbags and ABS will continue to be produced in India. So, Triumph has launched a new Scrambler 1200 in India, priced at rupees 10.73 lakhs ex showroom. Sadly, we don't get both the variants XC and XE variant, but we get the base XC variant. It gets a 1200 cc twin cylinder engine borrowed from the Thruxton, but in a slightly detuned manner. A good news for the Hyundai lovers: the Hyundai Venue might be available with a mild hybrid engine option in the near future. Well, these are just reports and rumors, and we are not sure of the news as of now. It will be the first Hyundai car in India to get the hybrid engine option. It is likely to come on the 1 liter turbo petrol engine with a 12 watt battery. So the global NCAP results for the made in India Suzuki Ignis and made in India Honda Amaze for the African market are out. Well, Honda Amaze gets a 4 star rating for the adult occupants and a 1 star rating for the child occupants. Ignis performs much worse as it gets a 3 star rating for the adult occupants and a mere 1 star rating for the child occupants. So, as we all know that the Kia SP2i SUV is going to be unveiled on 20th of June. Before the unveil, we have got to know that the SUV might be named as Seltos. It is confirmed for the global market but not for the Indian market. It will share its platform with Creta and will use a new 1.5 liter petrol as well as a 1.5 liter diesel engine the same engine will be carried on in the next gen creta finally the official bookings for mg hector are going to commence from 4th of june you can book the suv online from the official website as well as from the dealerships we are going to drive the mg hector from 13 june to 15 june so stay tuned for a first drive review after delaying the launch for more than a year aprilia has finally launched the storm 125 in india priced at rupees 65000 ex showroom it goes against tvs n top honda grazia hero maestro h125 and suzuki bergman street it uses the same engine that comes on the sr125 but gets drum brakes instead of disc brakes for all the petrol heads out there this is for you so the skoda octavia rs might make a comeback in india very soon it will use the same 2 liter turbo petrol engine but will now produce 245 bhp and 370 newton meters of peak torque now it will be bought in india through the cbu route which might take its prices up to 40 lakhs Earlier, it was priced at around 24 lakhs ex showroom. Do you think this price hike will still appeal to the customers? Well, this is all that we had for you in this week's auto news update. Subscribe to Car Blog India for more such videos and car and bike reviews. Like this video, share this video, and hit the bell icon for more such notifications. This is your host Tarun Kocha signing off. Thank you.